Hi, everybody. Hi, it's so nice to be here with you today. Hello, everybody on Facebook. And hello, everybody in the Zoom webinar for masterclass sessions. A very special hello to all longtime friends and all new friends. Today's program is about pivoting for financial success. So there's a lot we have to talk about, a lot of new tools and new things you're going to hear that will help you, even if you feel financially secure, which I don't know if anybody does. <laughs> so this is gonna be a really powerful program that will support you in so many ways. So wherever you're here from, anytime, please go ahead and just pop it in there and say what country you're from, what state you're from, say hello, and um, we just love to hear from you. So uh, also wanna let you know that uh, again, pivoting for financial success. This is part one today, and we're going to have a part two on Thursday. So you'll want to return. And if for any reason you're not able to stay for all of today's program, or you've missed this, just know you can go to YouTube and you will see it there again and you can listen to it again. And it'll be like you're in that virtual hall in that moment right then. So I look forward to seeing you, whether I'm seeing you here now or in the virtual hall. So let's get started. So these are times of great constraint. That's what I look at. What is constraint? It's where we feel like we can't do things the way we have. Suddenly everything has shifted. Now, we'll find things like that happening throughout life, right? It's not just because of this pandemic, but this pandemic is definitely causing a time of constraint. But so what I want you to know is what you learned today, you can use in other areas of your life when you have felt constrained as well. So when you feel constrained, what is possible? It could actually cause an entirely new focus that you hadn't even considered. I remember a time when I was building, I used to be an architectural uh, designer and I was building a home and I had a lot of constraints, okay? One of the constraints was that it, it was almost like building a shoebox, right? Because it was at the beach. And if you're at the beach, you don't get a little, you don't get a wide lot, you get a narrow lot because they make more money that way, selling lot after lot. So how do you build? a 5,000 square foot home in this long shoebox shape without feeling like you're in a tunnel all the time. So that constraint gave me such creativity. I built wide hallways. I built rooms that would double on top of each other with openings that would shut back down again. I did so many different things so that as many rooms as possible had that view that when I went to build the next home and I had a really wide lot, I felt like I had too many choices. <laughs> so sometimes constraints can actually help us, right? So what you want to be able to access now is more creativity, more courage. Because if you have, in fact, lost your job, lost that feeling of financial security, if you're feeling anxious, if you're feeling worried, if you've been furloughed, if any of those things have happened, you are feeling worried, but that doesn't help us get to financial success. And I know you know that. Your state is even so depressed, there's no energy in it. And I know this because I was feeling this kind of constraint in my own life just weeks ago, about a month ago, and it wasn't so much about financial constraint as it was about not waking up with a lot of joy. Why? What's going on? I really needed to understand it. And so I went into a self-designed uh, retreat. Hi, Abby. Javier. I went into a self-designed retreat in Sedona. And in this retreat, I did what I know works to get me the answers. I did the SOS practices, okay? I did the meditations 
quite a few times a day. And I did a variety of the meditations, okay? So igniting that power, that power of creativity, that power that, that opens up more courage and understanding, right? Then I began also adding in books. What books could I read? I did also the SOS programs, but what books could I read right now? What podcasts could I listen to? Who are other mentors out there that might guide me and give me more inspiration of different things that I needed, right, to get these answers? And I did a tool that I'm going to teach you today as well. So what began to happen is new insight began pouring in. Oh, what if I did this? What if I did this? And believe me, you need to write these things down. You can't just leave them in your head because they'll get lost. You have to write them down. And all the things that happened, I'm going to share with you in just a few moments. <laughs> but what I want to share now is that we can thrive any time in life that we want to. It's all about our mental state, isn't it? Because when we're in a good mental state, that opens the door for so many things to happen beyond what we understand. So one thing I want you to know is you already have the most important element that you need to create financial success in your life. Do you know what that is? You have any idea? It's your superpowers. What are superpowers? You have superpowers. We all do. They just get hidden. They get pushed down from all the genetic stress that have been passed down one generation after the next. We're born with it. It sits in the cells of our body. It's like an emotional memory that clogs our entire system and doesn't give us the freedom and the joy that we wanna have every day. But what I saw happening is, after I had this experience for myself and began to feel that flow, that magnificent, powerful flow of energy and what it created in my life, that's when I felt just so passionate, I had to bring it to other people. And so I began traveling around the world. And what I saw do is remarkable. And that's what I wrote about in my two books because we all have these superpowers. Another name for it is mind intelligence and body intelligence. But it's on an accelerated level. And when we connect to that superpower, that accelerated level of those powers that we have, life changes. Habits that we've had for a long time dissipate. Ways of perceiving things shift. People almost find us unrecognizable to the person we were before <gasps> because so many amazing qualities begin expanding. So it isn't that you aren't already great, you are. Now you wanna uncover the true greatness that's what we'll discuss and see and observe. And as we add these tools for pivoting, all of the elements come together for financial success in our lives, right? So let's do one of these beautiful energizing meditations right now, okay? And today we're going to do the Into the Silence. Into the Silence is a beautiful meditation. We're just going to do a few moments of it just to tap into that experience, just to open that gateway. Okay? So wherever you are, just relax. You can close your eyes. If you have thoughts that come in, that's fine. Just let them go and come back to your experience of the moment. And at the end of the meditation, keep your eyes closed. I will bring you back out. Okay, here we go.
in the silence, there is an energy resonating love to your very core. Continue breathing, diving into the depths of silence within. So take another deep breath. Notice how you're feeling in this moment. Even in this brief time, you might have felt that energy, that powerful energy stream resonating within. You might have felt it moving from the top of your head down to the soles of your feet. That's igniting that connection that you have with your superpowers, with that infinite mind and body intelligence that can guide you to thrive throughout your entire life. It's always there with you. It's always filled with love. <sighs> Inspiration. Courage. Allow yourself to connect to it consistently and what you see unfolding in your own life will be so exquisite. It will encourage you and motivate you to continue to advance the power of you again and again and again. And you can slowly and gently open your eyes. Welcome back. You know, I was talking about this time of constraint and how connecting to this power and utilizing the tools can help us pivot to an entirely new mindset that supports us to thrive and have financial success and have more joy and happiness in our lives, right? Well, when I was traveling and going from country to country, I did a program for a hospital in Cambodia. And it was for kids and doctors and program directors. And on the second day, the program director drove us around and he just said, I am so happy. <laughs> I'm so glad. And he goes, yes. He said, I am so happy. I didn't know I could be this happy. He said, I feel like I left my past behind me. <sighs> now, why this is beyond remarkable is because what he shared that he was around during the time of the genocide that happened in Cambodia. 
where neighbors turned against each other and millions of people died. So imagine what kind of trauma that sets up for you, for your entire life. And he said, so many people are living with that trauma and that it, you know, affects your um, physical health. And he had challenges with ulcers and different problems as well. And he said, I felt so much hope and so much happiness after the program that I had to go home and share it and teach my wife. <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? And that's what's possible for each one of us. Because what SOS is doing is igniting that power. That's what I developed these tools to do after I experienced it for myself. I could feel that energy flow coming through me and being being able to be passed through me into whatever vehicle is there, whether it's a tool of meditation, whether it's a program, whether it's directly to you. And now having these tools that you can continue with in your own life. How exquisite is that? We all have this power. So now we're able to access it and grow it again and again and again. So now, what are the steps we need to know to pivot, okay? So first, we have to recognize that something wants to change. For me, when I did this a few weeks back, I just wasn't waking up feeling enthusiastic about life. I wasn't, you know, and look, even in the worst of times, it's your state of mind that you have to manage. It's your state of mind. So you could be in the most gorgeous place in the world, and everything could be really happy and wonderful, right? And if your state of mind is depressed, everything is horrible anyway, right? So first you have to recognize that something wants to change. Then you have to ask for answers. So all the tools in SOS Method follow these three steps. Explore, listen, engage. Explore, listen, engage. So for this specific pivoting experience, this is what you want to explore and you want to write this down. What is it that wants to change? Write down what's not working. Write down what's not working. I feel unhappy, I've lost my job, you know, what, write down what is not working. Then, after you've written down what's not working, ask for answers. Ask for messages to guide you to pivot. Okay? Then, Listen to an activating meditation. Activate that power within you because now you're taking that request, that question, and you're activating it through that power that you have so that you will start drawing to you the answers that you need, right? You're resonating and you're gonna resonate the answers that you need. And they usually don't come all at once. They're going to trickle in sometimes, and it isn't all one answer. It could be a series of answers. So you begin with something, and then you take the next step, and then you take the next. So once you activate that mind intelligence, the messages come in. Explore, listen, and now you get into engage. Now, even during the meditation, and most of the meditations are 5 to 11 minutes. You can do a longer one than we did today then you want to engage. So you have to take the answers that you heard, write it down. Don't let it float away like it's an idea. Write it down. If you didn't hear them in that moment, that's okay. You'll hear them within 24 hours. You'll hear them within 48 hours. The messages will start coming. But you have to be aware of what a message is. What is it? Is it, you know, God speaking in your ear? <laughs> 
hello, you need to do this. <laughs> it doesn't often happen quite like that. But it could be like what happened for me. I was guided to listen to a podcast. Okay. And I'll share that with you. Okay. I listened to a podcast of, um, it's called Masters of Scale. I love it. Reed Hoffman, who is the co-founder of um, LinkedIn. And he's been doing his Masters of Scale for quite a period of time. But now he's really focused on the pandemic and speaking to amazing, you know, CEOs of company, what they're doing, guidance for this, guidance for that. It's really fascinating. So in this one, he was speaking to a man by the name of uh, Luis Von Ahn. He's the founder of Duolingo. Some of you might have heard it. You might even be using it. It's an app that teaches you a language for free, okay? And he talked about the series of events he went through and how it started off with one thing looking successful and then it didn't work. So they had to study it, look at the data, pivot. Study it, learn what's the matter, pivot. Try it again, pivot. So pivoting is something you're not gonna do once in life. You're gonna do it again and again and again. Now this might be pivoting for your financial success, but you wanna hang on to this understanding and these tools and practices because you're gonna pivot in a lot of different areas of life, right? So what I loved in what he said is that he never gave up. So the, the important part of this message is you don't lose the vision of what you want. Like you might have a vision of what you want for your life, of who you are, who you want to be, what you want to do. So it isn't that you have to change your vision. You just have to change the strategy to get there. Does that make sense? And it might be a radical pivot, and it might not. It might be a small pivot. And, and you have to do it. You have to put it in action, watch what happens. Then you might have to pivot again because that's something he did. And today he has 700 million users in Duolingo. <laughs> I would say he's pretty, he's pretty successful, wouldn't you? And evidently it's worth a whole lot of money. <laughs> so I took that to heart. And I began writing ideas to pivot for myself as well. What are things that I could do for SOS method and what are things I could do in my own personal life that would also make a big difference? Because my, you know, my mission is to help people recognize their power. It's to reach as many people as possible, one billion people, to recognize their power, to have an inspired mind and an inspired life. So what are ways we can do it? with this app, with other areas that I'm talented in in my life? What are all the ways I can use my talents to help people and, and have this vision come to life? And that's what began coming to me. And I'll tell you what, when I began sharing it with my partners and the advisors and the staff, people felt it and they resonated with it and they got excited about it, which tells you you're on the right track. Things are shifting for a purpose. It's okay that they're shifting. You're on the right track. Another story I wanted to share with you because I thought this was so cool. Sarah Blakely, I'm sure a lot of you have heard of her. She's the founder of Spanx. <laughs> and which evidently now she's a multi-billionaire from Spanx. Oh my gosh, right? So she started talking about, there was a time in her life she worked in sales there was a time in her life she worked at Walt Disney Company as goofy and different animals, right? <laughs> and, uh, and then she said she asked the universe, she asked the universe for guidance of something that could really help a lot of people and make a big difference. And if she got it, if she got the inspiration, if the universe poured in whatever that was, she committed, she was gonna stand behind it and keep working it until it became successful. And one day she had that idea about Spanx from the pantyhose and this and that, and she knew it would make a difference for women all over the world. And she began doing the wild and craziest things to make it happen. So she really worked it. She didn't just figure, oh, I 
I got it. Now I'm successful. No, she kept working it. She talked about once she got, when she got it in a Neiman's, it was so far in the back of the store that she thought nobody will find it. So she actually went on a 21 day tour of one store after the next. And within each store went around and talked to every single um, salesperson there and explained how it would help them sell clothes in their department and then gave them free gifts and things like that. Genius, right? But so she's working it. So what are you going to be inspired to do now? What are you going to be inspired to do? What is the pivot that will help you have more success in your life? Financial, spiritual, qualities, of, you know, all the things that you want. What is the pivot that this constraining time is going to help you discover that'll make a big difference in your life? So that's what you want to look at. And what I would advise is consistency, okay? These practices aren't meant to be one and done. They're not. They're meant to be done consistent. The more you do it, the more you expand that superpower in you. Watch what happens. And then drop us a line. Come to Facebook. Come to social media. Come to the website. Drop us a line. What's going on? What does it look like? What have you seen? Share it because when you do, you're helping others recognize they can have that in their lives as well. And it doesn't have to be a Sarah Blakely story. <laughs> you know, it could be a small pivot, but it made a big difference in your life in how you feel, right? So uh, I'm going to say right now, thank you again for being here. And I want to invite you to join me again, uh, again on YouTube. And listen to this again and again. It could help you really discover how to pivot. And I want to invite you to get the SOS Method app. It's free for the first seven days. And actually, we're looking into making it free for longer. <laughs> so that could be one of the big pivots coming our way. So come and help us. Jump in there. Tell us what you like about it. Tell us what you think we could improve on. Help us. Help us help you. How do you like that? Okay. I love it. Thank you all so much for being part of this community. It just enriches my soul. And how do you find the videos on, on which are you talking about the podcast I was listening to the videos on Facebook? Oh, okay. So I, I'm not sure what you mean by the videos on Facebook because we put up, the videos of this program on YouTube. Oh, okay, so Julia is saying you can go to SOS Method on Facebook and find different things that I'm speaking about, but this exact program is on YouTube under SOS Method. Okay, you can find it there. And then you can play it again and again, okay? Um, yes, and please join me on Thursday. We're gonna go deeper into this pivot for financial success. And if you get a chance, go and watch Masters of Scale and watch that one about um, Luis Ahn and Duolingo. It's, it's really inspiring, the things that he has done. I just loved it, thought it was wonderful. So um, if you have any questions to send me, we'll address them on Thursday. But for now, I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for your love. Thank you for being part of this community. Thank you for everything that you share with me. I'm sending you so much love. I'll see you soon. Bye for now.